All right, I, did, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys might have tried the. I know a lot of you have tried the Dolphin browser, um, the HD, but they have a browser called uh, Dolphin for Pad. I don't know if you guys have tried that, but it's actually working really good. I've been testing it out, you know, just using it. Um, I had been comparing it to the HP Touchpad uh, browser. On the touchpads, uh, you get the widgets that you, you know, like cards you slip swing up uh, the only thing I didn't like about that is um, I was gonna do a comparison but I didn't like that is uh, you don't get no tab browsing so it makes it kind of a little hard you know you have to swipe up go to if you have like six uh, web pages open you you know you have to just kind of tap on it not too hard but uh, this browser I kind of like this made especially for I think for um, tablets uh, I was gonna do a comparison but uh, I wasn't able to get, I did have the HP touchpad, but Office Depot was not willing to give us the price difference, so I had to return it. All they were doing was returning um, full price, so I had paid like $2.99 for it a couple of weeks ago, but they didn't want to match the $99. They said their office was just going to be returning them and just returning us the money. So I'm just going uh, to have to look for another one. I did, I do like the touchpad. Um, I do want to get one again. But I just want to show you guys here that how useful this uh, touch um, dolphin pad browser is. As you can see here, um, let me put this so you guys can see this. You can see that um, there's full screen here, which is pretty nice. You could tap on it see it goes full full screen you can get the tabs this opens up another tab we'll go to let's uh, go here now I'll open up a couple pages here and um, and show you guys and while that's opening up I'll just go I'm gonna just open up uh, I'll show you guys how pretty nice this is. We'll open up another one here. Um, oops, yeah, we'll go here. Let me just go to. As you can see, you have these um, tabs. It's really easy to go back and forth. You know, you can scroll up and down. It's very responsive, too. It's very quick. You can. Um, or zoom in we all know it does a good job and the nice thing is if you click on this you now have full screen so if you're reading you can take advantage more of the screen this way and if you wanna this is another this is what I like about it. if you pinch uh, the sides you can go right through the tabs this is really neat so you don't you don't have to you could go like this bring it back to tab mode but if you're in full screen, you just pinch uh, the side that you want to go. If you want to go back to the other one, you just pinch this other corner. And you're able to go back and forth this way as well. This is very neat. This is what I liked uh, compared to the touchpad. You would have to um, scroll up or slide up and then have to uh, go to your um, cards and then pick the site that you wanted to go to that you had open uh, I prefer tab browsing like this because you can have all your tabs and the other thing that's really nice if if you swipe to the to the right here I'll show you it brings you your history your favorites whatever you have here uh, you go swipe back up that goes away so if you anywhere in the screen on the right hand side same thing you got all your tabs as well um, so let me just go for example we'll go to full screen if you didn't want to do the pinch uh, to switch over you can also go here and just say you wanted to go Yahoo or Pocketables, Pocketables or any you can also add another tab here you can type in wherever you wanted to go to uh, we'll go to I'll just go to that. Open that one up. 
and as you can see you now have these uh, here on the side it's pretty uh, pretty nice I uh, really like this uh, browser and it's called the dolphin browser for pet this dolphin browser pad so you guys, if you guys want to give it a try and it only works so far I've seen it uh, it doesn't work on the uh, I believe on gingerbread it's only working seems on honeycomb so it actually won't even appear if you're using any other device I tried to put it on my try to search for it on using my HTC flyer and it was not available but that was only a couple couple weeks ago so if you want to give it a try maybe it might work for a 7 inch device but this is really cool um, and again you, you can go from here which is another nice feature uh, you now have these uh, shortcuts down here as well where you can uh, share a page and as you can see you can send it to your Evernote, email, Dropbox you know it's the basic thing but what's nice is uh, you can send it from right here tweet the page uh, wherever you want uh, what I was finding now um, using the HP touchpad you don't have these features you have to work around more so it's more of a um, you have to work more if you were using actually the web OS type of uh, computers or t uh, tablets so um, just thought I'd show you guys uh, you can go back and forth you can see how nicely it works find something on a page uh, you can put output east and as you can see it did find the word east there and the it works really good it's got some really good features on it you might want to give it a try of course you got your add-ons of course that you can do and I'll show you another one you want to go here if you click this little arrow here you can see whatever add-ons you have so if you wanted to do uh, screen cut you know capture region or wherever you want it or capture video you know share it which is really nice you can share it again send it to wherever you want very very nice very quick that's a, that's what I was, what I like about it is I don't have to be saving a page going to a different area opening up the Twitter or opening up my Dropbox I'm basically able to do a lot of stuff right out of the browser and most of my work uh, I do a lot out of the browser so um, I'm really liking this so you might want to give it a try thanks for watching